Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Saturday afternoon action on the show. The Atlanta Braves and the Chicago Cubs. First pitch coming at you right after the break. About to get started here. So here's the lefty, Justin Steele. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, he's been giving up a lot of hard contact this season. I mean, coming in, guys are hitting comfortably in the high 200s. So many times there's some bad luck, but then also there's just a little miss here or a little miss there that changes the outcome of the at bat. We'll see if he can be consistent and make adjustments quickly in this one. Ozzy Albee's up to the plate. The pitch. That misses the zone, and we are underway. First pitch, 120. Lifted in the air, right center field. And it's caught for the out. And now the DH, Vaughn Grissom. Line drive, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a double. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So a man aboard, now in for the Braves. Ronald Acuna Jr., good power. Not great in the OBP department. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Pulls that one foul. Singing Acuna is one of the most talented players in the game. Rewind. He debuted in 2018. He was only 20 years old. And now two and one. Yeah, I can't imagine, Boog. I mean, when I was 20 years old, I was still trying to figure things out in college. And now you're a kid with uh, all the cameras on you playing in front of thousands of people. Runner leads away at second. Squirts away a little bit. Zanino up with it to first. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Here's Austin Riley. 0 for 4 in the loss yesterday. Bounce to the left side. Toss to Mancini. And that will end the inning. Leading off, Dansby Swanson. The pitch. Ball one. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. No chance for a play, and let's hope the righty's not hurt on the mound. Ian Happ up to hit. Good defender. He's been inconsistent Let's offensively. Go. In there, and it's 0-1. Charlie Morton, a guy who has had a pretty incredible ride. He's won the World Series twice with the Astros in 17 and with the Braves in 2021. Swing and a miss, and it's 1-2. Yeah, Boog, talent aside, Charlie Morton is one of those teammate favorites. Everyone you talk to talks about how great a guy he is. Now there's one away. Here's Nico Horner, fourth on the batting average leaderboard in the National League. Dive, and he's got it. The throw over to Arcia. That's one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. Patrick Wisdom, the next cut to hit. The third base game. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Matt Olson, a guy who grew up in the Atlanta area, went to the same high school that produced Jeff Francoeur. And in fact, That's Jeff's mom was one of Matt Olson's teachers in grade school. Oh Left hand batter waits. Huh. Strike two. When Olson was traded to the Braves from the Oakland A's, Francoeur's mom texted Ryan Snicker and said, You're going to love Matt Olson. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. 
And now it's Travis Darno with the play. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Swing and a ball popped up. He makes the grab two away down. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Mancini on his horse. Grabs it on the run. And that is that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now, Seiya Suzuki. There's the strike. Morton, a former All-Star. He throws a slurve, a four-seamer, a sinker, a cutter, and he works in a changeup. Next offering is in for a strike. And the righty deals. Ground ball, left side, and that's just foul. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Edwin Rios, batting with one down, takes a strike. One of the stars in the win yesterday, as he had three hits. On the ground to the left, and foul ball. Got him swinging. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Hammer, base hit. Here's Mike Zanino. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Got it by him for the K. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And stepping in is the speedy Michael Harris. Whoa. And that one almost got him. Harris measures six feet even in the eighth spot in today's lineup. And he's a former rookie of the year. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. And that's in the dirt. Two balls and a strike. Late with the swing there. No, they just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up at that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. On the ground to third. Wisdom on the first. One up, one down. Here's Orlando Arcia. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. And a pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Top of the third. No score. That's ripped. And this one could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's in with a stand-up double. Really nice job of two-strike hitting in that at-bat. That was exactly what you're looking to do with the pitch away, especially in that situation. Driving into the opposite field gap. Got himself two bags on a great swing of the bat. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Kicks and deals. This to center field. Swanson sizes this one up. Makes a nice running catch. And there are two down. Back here at the friendly confines. Bottom of the inning. And now here is Brennan Davis. There's a strike. Davis, in his rookie season, 23 years old. And he was a second-round pick back in 2018. Ball to strike. On the ground, right side. And it goes just foul. The one-two. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. And the right-hander deals. 
And a good eye there. It's a good take. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. And now the count filled up three and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back to the top of the lineup. And up next for Chicago, Dansby Swanson. There's a strike. Dansby Swanson's turned into one of the best defensive shortstops in baseball, Chris. And a lot of the help came from Ron Washington. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. That one felt good. His 19th home run of the year, and it gives him the lead in the third. It's 1-0. home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. Ian Hat, the next Cub to hit. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Dansby Swanson, after all of that hard work defensively, Won himself the gold glove in 2022. That one ripped. That's back there. Can't get there. Base hit. Safely into second. He's got a double. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. And he's down 0-2 as two. he swings through it. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. Half up to third on the wild pitch. Part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking oh. to do some more damage. Pitch misses two there. Ball. Two balls, two strikes. two strikes. Fights it off, you'll see another. Still two and two after the foul ball. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. So now it's the Cubs hitter in the four hole. Patrick Wisdom. First oh. offering, misses the mark. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next no, pitch inside not. and now two and oh. Good eye right there. Well, he gave up the home run earlier in this inning, not pitching as aggressively yeah. here. In for a strike, now three and one. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss. Had him way out front of the slur. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. Here at Wrigley Field, new inning getting started. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Vaughn Grissom. And yeah, the first offering is not close. You know, these Braves, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Everything came together for him. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Grissom on at first, nobody out. Lifted in the air, right field. Suzuki pulls that one down, and there's one down. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Nice job behind the plate there. Foul off left side. 
with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. On uh, the north side of Chicago, John Chomby and Chris Singleton. Next to hit, Matt Olson. In the air on the infield, Mancini should have it. And that's the third out. One left. So up now for Chicago, Seiya Suzuki. That pitch gets the corner. Strike one. You know, these Cubs did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. And down on strikes. And a quick out number one. Rios stands in now and watches strike one. that one down the line and that's just foul you know sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage and that might be the case today swings and misses struck him out two outs base is empty and now the first baseman Trey Mancini Mancini tries to hold up appeal to first yes he did that's a swing you will one and there's a ball one ball, one strike. That one the other way. He'll do it himself. Out. And that is that. And the Cubs back here at Wrigley Field. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Travis Darno. And that one is lifted in the air. Suzuki has a beat on it. Makes the catch for the out. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He's 0 for 1. Swings and misses. And that's strike one. These hitters are going to have to find a way to be a little more patient, see more pitches per at bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. One down, base is empty. One, two. And down on strikes he goes. And there are two outs. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it. And One that more. way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. Left-hand hitter waits. And a swing and a miss. Looking Two sharp shot. just to strike away from five shutout innings. Line drive. He's got it. And that is out number three. Here comes a pitch. And delivers oh. outside. And a swing and a miss. Oh, that's that strike. slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. You talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Next offering is fouled back. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And you know, not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. Strike two. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Next pitch is downstairs. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Next one just misses. And that's ball three. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. So the lineup flips over. Dansby Swanson stands in. And that's in there for strike one. That 
one out to right. And Acuna able to make the grab. And Swanson. Welcome back. All set for the top of the sixth. And now the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. And the pitch. Hard liner. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Here is Ozzie Albies up to him. Bounced up the middle. Gets it to first. And Albies is retired. So here's the Braves' designated hitter, Vaughn Grissom. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a ball popped up. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the six. So up now for Chicago, Ian Hatt. Fly ball down the line. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Very nice swing on that pitch right there. Got one to drive and just kept it fair oh, down that right field line and into the corner. And it's almost strike. impossible to track those down as an outfielder. Off the mark there. Two balls, no strikes. Appears they're working around him with the base open, yep. Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be. And we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game. And you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Albies over to first in time. One away, bottom of the sixth. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language. And he just doesn't What's seem fun? like things are in sync. And the ball's just... Colin McHugh gets the ball now. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Ball one there. Here's an interesting note on Colin McHugh. From 2017 to 2022, the five years that he played, every team he played on won 100 games. Astros from 17 through 19, the Rays in 21, and the Braves in 22. 3-2 now. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And next for the Cubs, Seiya Suzuki. That one's in there, 0-1. Two outs with a runner at third. Next one misses. And 1-1. One and, one. and another ball. Number three. Cubs lead. Top of inning number seven. Now in for the Braves. Ronald Acuna Jr. And he deals. A swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Action in the pen down there. Michael Fulmer getting ready to go. Alzali, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. Next offering misses. And a count even one and one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. That misses the zone. Two and one. And now the lefty. Out to short. Swanson. Jump throw. Not in time. An infield knock to start the inning. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it. But it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop can even make that play. Acuna runs. Ball misses. One more. Throw. Save. Zanino hey. not in time with the throw. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. 
So now one and two. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Acuna stands at second with no outs. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. Throw to third. Safe. Double steal. You know, in this game, you got to take what the other team is giving you. And right there, they were giving him a steal of third base. Didn't check his lead. Catcher doesn't throw very well. So you got to take that back. Get your team that much closer to scoring a run. Not close with that one. It's a ball and two strikes. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. One runs in. Here comes the throw. Not in time. He's safe as they take the lead. Two runs come in. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. You can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him in a chase on the two strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball really well. Here comes the manager out of the Cubs dugout. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs. Now pitching for the Cubs. Number 73. Ed Barrett. Cubs, Adbert Alzola. He last pitched two days ago. And here is Travis Darno. There's a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. Kicks and fires. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. That's to third, and it gets by him. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton, and now Michael Harris. And there's the strike. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Good eye right there. Way to lay off that pitch down. Swing and a miss. And a count. One and two. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swung on. Belted. Suzuki ranging back. Back some more. And gone. His seventh home run of the season. And they throw three on the board. It's 5-1. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments. And right there, made a statement big time. Now, Boog, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. It would have been a long strike. But instead... Batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. And next for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. Swing and a miss. No Slider ball. right Good there. Ball. To third. Wisdom. In plenty of time to first. And they get the out. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time, got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Albies now at the oh plate my. as he swings through strike one. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Davis settles under it and makes the catch. And that is that. Atlanta gets three on the homer. It's now 5-1. This is Braves baseball on the show south.
back here at the friendly confines. Now it's the DH, Edwin Rios. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. You know, these Cubs finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. Back foot slider struck him out. Trey Mancini now one for two. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is bound for this offense, no doubt. 2-0 to count. 2-0 oh to count. Here it comes. The 2-1. Swings through that one for strike two. Out to short, Arcia. Two up, two down. He's out. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Mike Zunino. First offering what misses up? badly for ball one. Out to short, Arcia. Tosses to first. That ends the frame. Michael Rucker on the pitch here. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball on the floor. Not an easy guy to take deep. Grissom, the next to hit, takes ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Swings through that one out in front that time. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. On the ground, out to short. Throws across the diamond. First out in the top of the eighth. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Right-handed reliever. This one popped up. Wisdom flashes the leather on the running catch. Two outs, bases empty. Now here is Austin Riley. On the ground to third. Slings it across. And that is that. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the center fielder, Brennan Davis. Comebacker to the mound. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. And up next for Chicago, Dansby Swanson. Ball, no. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Man at first with one gone. Ian Happ, the next cup to hit. Ball. Pitch misses inside. One Ball up. one. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat Ball. right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture no. that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. And a big swing and a miss. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still trying to get that ground ball double play. Now, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff. Well, got to pause on that thought as that'll... So Brad Boxberger rolls into the game. Here's Matt Olson, one for three. And a pitch. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Tracks it down for the out. And there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Carneau, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Michael Fulmer throwing and getting ready for David Ross. 
Swing and a miss as he was out front. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. On the north side of Chicago, John Chomby and Chris Singleton digging in. Marcelo Zuna. And that is cut on and missed. Strike one. Boxberger, 34-year-old vet, a former first-round pick back in 2009. And it's even up. One ball, one strike. Base knock center field. And that keeps the inning alive. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. On the ground. They get the force. And that'll do it. No run. the third baseman Patrick Wisdom here comes a new arm for the Braves Joe Jimenez he's pitching on two days rest yeah now Leo one swing and a miss as he was late he's had a tough day at the plate three strikeouts already it's hard not to think negative but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play right-hander kicks deals Riley. One up, one down. So up now for Chicago, Seiya Suzuki. In there for strike one. This one in the air right field. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. And there's two away. Edwin Rios here. First pitch just misses. Pulls it in, and that's the ball game. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.